Ay, you know. He's not. Look, look, look Danielle. He didn't already died already. He got his ass whooped and killed unjustly. He didn't do nothing. You think he gonna come back and ask? He's asking now for us. Hey, Danielle, you need to start wearing a dress. How you doing, bro? You all right? When is play? When is play? Every Saturday. Three o'clock. Bro, roll your beard out. You see what I'm saying? What's your name, bro? Christian. Christian. Roll your beard out. So he said Saturday Saturdays at three o'clock. Yep. On the on the back of that fly, they got a, a, a address. I'm coming. Y'all gonna be there when I come? Yeah. Watch this. How you doing, Chris? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. Look. I see you got the cross on you. Now I want to ask you something. I see y'all. Right. Give me Leviticus uh 19. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with something. 19 to 28. Three. Book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Bring it out. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. What that means? Okay. Go. You know who used to do that? The ancient Egyptians. The Bible said, don't do it though. The Bible goes against everything the Egyptians did. Therefore, the Bible can't be for you if it goes against everything that they did. They used to get tattoos. They used to shave off their face. They used to shave off their hair. He said, don't do that. Now for us, throw your beard out. Don't get no more tattoos. That's our business. Bring your family, bro. We got a school right around the corner. All right? Bring them. Come fellowship. Learn. That way we could be more than what we are. We could actually be men. And not boyfriends. <laughs> so Christian, like I said, give me her back. You got the, the cross. I want to ask you something about that. Why do you wear it? Okay. Now, what was the cross to Christ? Yeah. If Christ got electrocuted in the electric chair, would you walk around with a chair on? If he got shot in the head with a gun, would you walk around with a pistol? I'm talking that. about for Christ. Nah. So why would we wear the method of his execution? I don't know. You're right. And then I said Tupac had his on too, and I, and I love Tupac. Tupac had his same piece. Yeah, Tupac oh, also said only God could judge him. Yeah. You saw what happened to him. Yeah. God judged him. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Oh, yeah. That's not the, the, the example that we should follow. You know what I'm saying? What I'm showing you is the stuff that we was taught, because I used to do the same thing. The stuff that we was taught, we got to stop that. That is an idol. The reason why it's an idol is because there are people in this world who bow down and worship that thing, and have been for a few hundred years now. You know what I'm saying? We're not supposed to do that. Watch this. Read. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18. What profit the graven image? So what profit is the graven image? That, does, that thing is not profit. Because what does Jesus Christ look like? Black. Can you can you look at that image of that man that's hanging on that cross and tell me if that's a black or a white man? Normally, what is that? That's a white man. So you're not wearing black Jesus. You're wearing white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And white Jesus put the whole lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Watch this, read. What profit the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies. A teacher of lies. You know a teacher of lies? Because they say Christ is a white man. They put a white man on the, on the cross. They say he died for your sins. That's false. He was a black man. Think about it. Who was in front of Christ and watched him down? No. Who was in front of Christ and watched him down? Who else was there? His friend? Who else? Who else? No, Judas wasn't there. Judas wasn't there. Judas wasn't hung himself. He wasn't there. His family, his mom, his brothers. When black people get killed, who did he kill them from? His mom, his brothers, his family. What did Jesus Christ do to get that kind of execution? Nothing. Who gets put to death wrongfully in this country? 
We do. But do we have an argument when we put each other to death? For nothing? You know what I'm saying? We have to start the change push. Right. Do you know who you are for the Bible? Who are you? Hold on. What is your nationality? What would you say it is? African American. American. How old are you? Third. African American came out three years before you were born. I'm 35. African American came out right at the time I was born. So how can we be African American and that came out within my generation? You know what I'm saying? What was we before it was called African American? Colors, but we're brown. So how are we colored? White people get sick. What color they turn? Green. What color? <laughs> they get mad. What color they turn? Green. They get cold. What color they turn? Blue. They the ones that's cold. Yeah. <laughs> they got more colors than us. Right. We the brown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm showing you, Christian, is we're not African American. We're not colors. We're not Negroes. We're not black. Your skin is brown. But your jacket is black. That's a color. Who we are are the Israelites of the Bible. We was taken away from our heritage and who we are through slavery. But there's a reason why it happened. Give me Deuteronomy 20. The book of Deuteronomy. This is gonna be a trail of bread from for you. All right, we're gonna go through some. We're gonna go through some history. You like history? We're gonna go through some history. The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse one. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all His commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So, Christian, God said. If you listen to me and do what I tell you to do, I'm going to put you above everybody. Are we above everybody right now? We're not, right? Now that was for listening. Let's see what happens if we don't listen. But, oh, verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statute, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So curses will come upon thee. Because God's our father, right? But he's not going to come down from, from the sky with a leather belt and give all us the apple. Right. What he's going to do is he's going to use other people to give us the apple. He's going to make white people lock you up unjustly. Like, Man, why these folk keep messing with me? Why you didn't keep my commandments? Hey, why I always got to get locked up? Right. Why you always got to sin? You know what I'm saying? God is our father. We got to listen to what he's saying. Watch some of the things that happen to us. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Look at this sign, bro. Our sons and our daughters are given to another people. Who the hell is it? to the Native Americans. to the And they have to the black people. They have to all of them. You know why? It's going to be the same people. You know what I'm saying? Give me verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. Who are we going to serve? Enemies, right? Watch this. Which the Lord shall send against us. The Lord sent the enemies against us because we disobeyed him. You know what I'm saying? He said, all right, since you don't want to serve me, now you're going to serve your enemies. I was going to give you all of the food, all of the water, all of the clothing that you wanted. Anything that you wanted, you would have got it from me. But since you don't want to listen to my rules, now you get it from them. And now with you want housing, that's where you got to go. Watch this. In hunger. In hunger. When you get hungry, who owns that store? Arabs and white men. And sometimes Chinese. You go to them for food. Free. And in thirst. When you thirsty, you got a water bill? Who own, who own the water company? Exactly. Water fall free from the sky, don't it? So why we got to pay for it? You know what I'm saying? Free. And in nakedness. The clothing that we need. Jay-Z may put his name on the on the, the outside, but guess what? He don't own the textiles that make these things. We go to them if we want clothes. Free. And, and in want of all things. Anything we want. You want a driver license? We'll give it to you. You want a death certificate? Who give it to you? You want a grave plot? Who give it to you? You want to learn the Bible? Who you go to? 
<laughs> so your pastors, who they been learning from? And what did the Bible call them? Your enemy. Watch this, verse 16. Verse 68. And the Lord shall, br shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt means slavery or bondage. Right? Read. Again, with ships. Christian. Who went into slavery by wearing slave ships? Christian. Who went into slavery by wearing slave ships? We did. Did that happen to anybody else? So when the Bible said that it would happen to the Israelites for disobeying their God, and we can look at history and see that all of that stuff happened to us, what that make us? The Israelites. It's historic. All right? You got a flyer? Look, we got a school right around the corner. Every Saturday around 3 o'clock, we hold classes. Come to the classes. Come learn. Because you got a zeal for God, but we want to point you in the right direction. All right? You too. You been, you been staying here for a minute. We want y'all to be in the right direction every Saturday around 3 o'clock. The, 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 the address, the phone number, all of that's on the fly. All right? We got videos on YouTube. Y'all want to watch them now? We got thousands of videos on YouTube. Men leading by example.